In Zami, I noticed there was a reoccurring theme of ignoring race in the lifestyle of Audrey Lord. Um, one particular passage that had stuck out to me was in chapter 12, but we never ever talked about what it meant and what it felt like to be black and white and the effects that it had on our being friends. Of course, everybody with any sense deplored racial discrimination theoretically and without discussion. We could conquer it by ignoring it. In this passage, the theme is to ignore race, is to conquer it, essentially. Um, at this point in Audrey's life, she is in high school. Her friend group was called The Branded. And she then went on to mention how her friend group did not really discuss the idea of race and they kind of just ignored it. Um, and in the beginning of the quote, it says, but we never ever talked about what it meant and felt like to be black and white. The we in this sentence is talking about we as in their friend group, the branded. It then switches over to say, of course, everybody with any sense deplored racial discrimination theoretically and without discussion. We could conquer it by ignoring it. The narrative of we switches from the branded to the general population. And this affects the text by stressing that not only do the branded ignore the problem of race, um, but people in general do. So on the surface of the text, these three sentences stress that race is easily ignored by not only her friends, but everyone. When digging a little bit further, the part, but we never talked about what it meant and felt like to be black and white. The word black is capitalized in the sentence and white is not. This complicates the initial meaning of the passage that racism is ignored by actually bringing attention to the race um, and the word black itself. juxtaposes the ignorance meaning while bringing attention to the word black and white is not capitalized so it gives me the interpretation that white doesn't stand out like the capitalized black because white is basically viewed as the norm of society so it doesn't need to stick out. Um, black is different than the rest, so it's capitalized and made to be outcast. It's made to be the outcast literary technique in the text, symbolizing how black is separate from white. And this capitalization of black is very intriguing, being that the word black itself is being brought to attention while the sentence itself is talking about how black is being ignored. So why does Audrey Lord feel the need to um, capitalize the word black in this sentence about ignoring race? And uh, some theories that I have that Lord used this technique of using two very different things together was to demonstrate that even though we try to essentially ignore race, it's always there, symbolically like capital letters in the world. And it's not something that we can ignore. It stands out. And people nowadays ignore that race is a problem at all, but in capital letters, it's still there. In this book, we see that people know what is a problem, but just choose to ignore it. And in this text, I also took it as that people choose to ignore the fact that it is a problem at all. But the capitalized black screams that it's still here. It's still evident, even though we're ignoring it. And it is a problem, and it's there. Um, the fact that white is not capitalized makes it show that white does not stand out like black. And the use of having a passage talking about ignoring race while also bringing up the word black um, really affected me in the fact that race like can't be ignored. It needs to be something that's brought up and it needs to be something that's talked about. It can't just be set aside. Ignoring things that make us uncomfortable does not solve anything, but it could even worsen it. And that's why I believe the capitalization of black is important because it stresses that even though we do ignore it, on the surface, like the meaning of the passage does, we have to look deeper, like in between the lines of the passage and stress that it's real and a problem. 
like bringing attention to black by capitalizing. So it. once again, this passage overall means that people in um, her life tried to ignore black, but she capitalized black because it's something that we can't ignore and that's what stuck out to me because even though we're reading the passage and we're saying oh wow racism is ignored it's still brought up because of this literary technique of her capitalizing the word black and bringing our intention back to it because even though we try to ignore it it's still there thank you